Welcome to Slothful Slumber, the podcast where we transform the vast knowledge of the internet into a gentle lullaby for your mind. I'm your host, Luna Dreamwell, and I'm here to guide you on a journey to tranquility through the soothing cadence of Wikipedia articles. Each episode, we'll delve into the most wonderfully mundane and sleep-inducing topics, helping you drift off into a realm of serene dreams. So find your comfortable space, close your eyes, and let the dull hum of information carry you into a restful slumber. Now, let's embark on tonight's voyage of tranquil learning as we explore a topic so peacefully uneventful it just might whisk you away to the land of dreams. This Wikipedia article is titled Mount Pinatubo. Mount Pinatubo is an active stratovolcano in the Zambales Mountains, located on the tripoint boundary of the Philippine provinces of Zambales, Tarlac, and Pampanga, all in central Luzon on the northern island of Luzon. Its eruptive history was unknown to most before the pre-eruption volcanic activity of early 1991. Pinatubo was heavily eroded and obscured from view by dense forests, which supported a population of several thousand indigenous Atas. Pinatubo is most notorious for its VEI-6 eruption on June 15, 1991, the second largest terrestrial eruption of the 20th century after the 1912 eruption of Novorupta in Alaska. Complicating the eruption was the arrival of Typhoon Yunya, bringing a lethal mix of ash and rain to towns and cities surrounding the volcano. Predictions at the onset of the climactic eruption led to the evacuation of tens of thousands of people from the surrounding areas, saving many lives. Surrounding areas were severely damaged by pyroclastic surges, pyroclastic falls, and subsequently by the flooding lahars caused by rainwater remobilizing earlier volcanic deposits. This caused extensive destruction to infrastructure and changed river systems for years after the eruption. Minor dome-forming eruptions inside the caldera continued from 1992 to 1993, the effects of the 1991 eruption were felt worldwide. It erupted roughly 10 billion tons, 1.1 by 10 to the 10th short tons, or 10 cubic kilometers, 2.4 cubic miles, of magma, and 20 million tons, 22 million short tons, of ESO. Two, bringing vast quantities of minerals and toxic metals to the surface environment. It ejected more particulate into the stratosphere than any eruption since Krakatoa in 1883. Over the following months, the aerosols formed a global layer of sulfuric acid haze. Global temperatures dropped by about 0.5 degrees Celsius, 0.9 degrees Fahrenheit, in the years 1991 to 1993 and ozone depletion temporarily saw a substantial increase. Geography The volcano is about 87 kilometers, 54 miles, northwest of Manila, the capital of the Philippines. Near Mount Pinatubo are former military bases that were maintained by the United States. The U.S. naval base Subic Bay was 37 kilometers, 23 miles south of Pinatubo, and the extent of Clark Air Base was just 14 kilometers, 8.7 miles, east of the volcano's summit. The volcano is near to about 6 million people. History Mount Pinatubo's summit before the 1991 eruption 
was 1,745 meters, 5,725 feet, above sea level, only about 600 meters, 2,000 feet, above nearby plains, and only about 200 meters, 660 feet, higher than surrounding peaks, which largely obscured it from view. It is part of a chain of volcanoes which lie along the western side of the island of Luzon called the Zambales Mountains. Pinatubo belongs to the Cabusilan subrange of the Zambales Mountains, which consists of Mount Cuadrado, Mount Negron, Mount Mataba, and Mount Pinatubo. They are subduction volcanoes formed by the Eurasian Plate sliding under the Philippine Mobile Belt along the Manila Trench to the west. Mount Pinatubo and the other volcanoes on this volcanic belt arise due to magmatic occlusion from this subduction plate boundary. Pinatubo is flanked on the west by the Zambales Ophiolite Complex, which is an easterly dipping section of Eocene oceanic crust uplifted during the late Oligocene. The Tarlac Formation north, east, and southeast of Pinatubo consists of marine, non-marine, and volcanoclastic sediments formed in the late Miocene and Pliocene. The most recent study of Mount Pinatubo before the activities of 1991 was the overall geological study in 1983 and 1984 made by F.G. Delphin for the Philippine National Oil Company as part of the surface investigations of the area before exploratory drilling and well testing for geothermal energy sources in 1988 to 1990. He recognized two life histories of the mountain, which he classified as ancestral and modern Pinatubo. Ancestral Pinatubo Activity of Ancestral Pinatubo seems to have begun about 1.1 million years ago and probably ended tens of thousands of years or more before the birth of modern Pinatubo. Much of the rugged land around the present volcano consists of remnants of Ancestral Pinatubo. It was an andesite and deceit stratovolcano whose eruptive activity was much less explosive than modern Pinatubo. Its center was roughly where the current volcano is. The projected height of the mountain is up to 2,300 meters, 7,500 feet, or 1.43 miles above sea level if it were a lone peak, based on a profile fitting to the remaining lower slopes or lower if it had more than one peak. The old volcano is exposed in the walls of an old 3.5 kilometers by 4.5 kilometers, 2.2 miles by 2.8 miles, wide caldera, referred to as Taiwan Caldera by Delphin. Some of the nearby peaks are the remnants of ancestral Pinatubo, left behind when the softer parts of the old mountain slopes were eroded by weathering. Ancestral Pinatubo is a Salma volcano with modern Pinatubo as the new cone. Mount Dorst, to the east, is part of the dip slope of the ancestral Pinatubo. Several mountains near modern Pinatubo are old satellite vents of ancestral Pinatubo, forming volcanic plugs and lava domes. These satellite vents were probably active around the same time as the ancestral volcano and include the domes of Mount Negron, Mount Cuadrado, Mount Mataba, and the Bituin and Tapungo plugs. Modern Pinatubo, circa 79,000 BC. After a long period of dormancy, modern Pinatubo was born in ancestral Pinatubo's cataclysmic and most explosive eruptions, estimated to be five times larger than the June 1991 eruption. 
It deposited all around the volcano up to 25 cubic kilometers, 6.0 cubic miles, of pyroclastic surge material up to 100 meters, 330 feet thick. The total volume of volcanic material ejected during the eruptions is unknown. The removal of so much material from the underlying magma chamber resulted in the Taiwan caldera. The violent eruptive period started by the eruption is referred to by Delphin as the Inararo eruptive period, named after a village that was destroyed in the 1991 eruption. Later eruptions of modern Pinatubo occurred episodically and lasted for periods much shorter than the repose intervals between them. Subsequent eruptions and eruptive period occurred about circa 15,000 BC, Sokobia eruptive period, circa 7,000 BC, Pazbul eruptive period. Its eruptions were as energetic, if not as voluminous, as the Inararo eruptions, circa 4,000 to 3,000 BC, Crow Valley eruptive period. This and the Mara Unat period's eruptions were smaller than the Inararo eruptions, but about two to three times as big as that of 1991, based on the pyroclastic flow runout distances and depths of valley filling. Circa 1900 to 300 BC, Marono eruptive period. Circa AD 1500, Buag eruptive period. Its eruptions were roughly the same size as those of 1991. Each of these eruptions seems to have been very large, ejecting more than 10 cubic kilometers, 2.4 cubic miles, of material and covering large parts of the surrounding areas with pyroclastic flow deposits. Some eruptive periods have lasted decades, and perhaps as much as several centuries, and might appear to include multiple large explosive eruptions. The maximum size of eruptions in each eruptive period, though, has been getting smaller through the more than 35 000 000 year history of modern Pinatubo. But this might be an artifact of erosion and burial of older deposits. The oldest eruption of modern Pinatubo, Inararo, was also its largest. The 1991 eruption was among the smallest documented in its geologic record. The volcano has never grown very large between eruptions because it produces mostly unwelded, easily erodible deposits and periodically destroys the viscous domes that fill its vents. After the Buag eruption, circa 1500 AD, the volcano lay dormant, its slopes becoming completely covered in dense rainforest and eroded into gullies and ravines. The circa 500-year repose, though, between the Buag and present eruptive periods is among the shorter repose periods recognized in its geologic history. 1991 Eruption. A small blast at 3.41 PST on June 12 marked the beginning of a new, more violent phase of the eruption. A few hours later, the same day, massive blasts lasting about half an hour generated big eruption columns, which quickly reached heights of over 19 kilometers, 62,000 feet, and which generated large pyroclastic surges extending up to four kilometers, 2.5 miles, from the summit in some river valleys. Fourteen hours later, a 15-minute blast hurled volcanic matter to heights of 24 kilometers, 15 miles. Friction in the uprushing ash column generated abundant volcanic lightning. In March and April 1991, Magma rising toward the surface from more than 32 kilometers, 20 miles, beneath Pinatubo triggered small volcano tectonic earthquakes 
and caused powerful steam explosions that blasted three craters on the north flank of the volcano. Thousands of small earthquakes occurred beneath Pinatubo through April, May, and early June, and many thousand of tons of noxious sulfur dioxide gas were also emitted by the volcano. From June 7th to 12, the first magma reached the surface of Mount Pinatubo. Because it had lost most of the gas contained in it on the way to the surface, the magma oozed out to form a lava dome but did not cause an explosive eruption. However, on June 12th, millions of cubic yards of gas-charged magma reached the surface and exploded in the reawakening volcano's first spectacular eruption. When even more highly gas-charged magma reached Pinatubo's surface on June 15th, the volcano exploded in a cataclysmic eruption that ejected more than 5 cubic kilometers, 1.2 cubic miles, of material. The ash cloud from this climactic eruption rose 35 kilometers, 22 miles, into the atmosphere. At lower altitudes, the volcanic ash was blown in all directions by the intense cyclonic winds of a coincidentally occurring typhoon, and winds at higher altitudes blew the ash southwestward. A blanket of ash and larger pumice lapilli blanketed the countryside. Fine ash fell as far away as the Indian Ocean, and satellites tracked the ash cloud several times around the globe. Huge pyroclastic flows roared down the flanks of Mount Pinatubo, filling once deep valleys with fresh volcanic deposits as much as 200 meters, 660 feet thick. The eruption removed so much magma and rock from below the volcano that the summit collapsed to form a 2.5 kilometers, 1.6 miles wide caldera. Following the climactic eruption of June 15, 1991, activity at the volcano continued at a much lower level, with continuous ash eruptions lasting until August 1991 and episodic eruptions continuing for another month. Later Eruptions Activity at the volcano remained low until July 1992 when a new lava dome started growing in the caldera. Volcanologists suspected that further violent eruptions could be possible, and some areas were evacuated. However, the eruption was only minor. The last eruption of Mount Pinatubo took place in 1993. Lake Pinatubo The 1991 caldera afterwards filled with water from annual monsoon rains, and a crater lake, Lake Pinatubo, was formed. In 1992, a growing lava dome formed an island, which was eventually submerged by the lake. Initially, the lake was hot and highly acidic, with a minimum pH of 2 and a temperature of about 40 degrees Celsius, 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Subsequent rainfall cooled and diluted the lake, lowering the temperature to 26 degrees Celsius, 79 degrees Fahrenheit, and raising the pH to 5.5 by 2003. The lake deepened by about 1 meter, 3.3 feet per month on average, eventually submerging the lava dome until September 2001, when fears that the walls of the crater might be unstable prompted the Philippine government to order a controlled draining of the lake. An estimated 9,000 people were once again evacuated from surrounding areas in case a large flood was accidentally triggered. Workers cut a 5-meter, 16-feet notch in the crater rim and drained about a quarter of the lake's volume. Recent Activity On July 10, 2002, 
the west wall of the crater collapsed, slowly releasing approximately 160 million cubic meters, 5.7 by 10 to the ninth cubic feet, of water and sediment into the Marano River in Bodolan, Zambales. On July 26, 2011, a 5.9 magnitude earthquake struck close to Pinatubo. However, no major damages or casualties were reported. On March 4, 2021, the Five Oaks raised alert level 1 over Mount Pinatubo after reporting an increase on its seismic activity. 1,722 volcanic earthquakes were also recorded within the vicinity of the volcano since January 2021. On August 11, 2021, Five Oaks downgraded Mount Pinatubo's alert level 1 to level 0 due to continued decrease in earthquake activity and a return to baseline seismic parameters. Five Oaks said it noted a significant decrease in volcanic earthquakes, with a total of 104 quakes or an average 2, three events per day recorded from July 1st. August 1st, 2021. On November 30th, 2021, Five Oaks reported a weak explosion occurred on Mount Pinatubo between 12.09 p.m. and 12.13 p.m., which produced a plume. The agency later confirmed it was a phreatic explosion produced by hydrothermal fluids near the surface, rather than a magmatic eruption. Cultural History The word Pinatubo could mean fertile place where one can make crops grow, or could mean made to grow in Sambal and Tagalog, which may suggest a knowledge of its previous eruption in about 1500 AD. There is a local oral tradition suggestive of a folk memory of earlier large eruptions. An ancient legend tells of Bacobaco, a terrible spirit of the sea, who could metamorphose into a huge turtle and throw fire from his mouth. In the legend, when being chased by the spirit hunters, Bacobaco flees to the mountain and digs a great hole in its summit, showering the surrounding land with rock, mud, dust, and fire for three days, howling so loudly that the earth shakes. History Among Atas Ada elders tell many stories about the history of the mountain, the best known being that it was once a Batung Mabie, Kapampangan language for living stone. It was said to have been planted on a kingdom by a displeased sorcerer, but relocated by a hero. The mountain was soon turned into the abode of Apo Namalyari, the lord of happenings events, the pagan deity of the Sambal, Ayatas and Kapampangans live in on the Zambales range. It was said to comprise the whole mountain range until Sinuquan of Mount Ariat, the god of the Kapampangans, became a strong rival of Namalyari. Their fight, which took place over the center plains, shattered the mountain into smaller bodies, and Mount Ariat lost its center peak. Other versions have it that Pinatubo's peak shattered because of Namalyari's immense fury in an attempt to teach humans the meaning of fear and show how misdeeds will be punished. According to the native elders, Apo Namalyari induced the June 1991 eruption because of displeasure toward illegal loggers and Philippine National Oil Company executives who performed deep exploratory drilling and well testing on the volcano looking for geothermal heat from 1988 to 1990. Discouraging results from the wells forced the abandonment of the prospect 13 months before the April 2nd, 1991 explosions. Aetas granted ownership of Pinatubo. After being driven away by the 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo 
In May 2009, some 454 Aeta families in Pampanga were given the first clean ancestral land ownership on Mount Pinatubo with the Certificate of Ancestral Domain Title, SADT, by the National Commission on Indigenous Peoples, NCIP, the government agency that deals with issues concerning Indigenous people of the Philippines. The approved and declared net land area of 18,385 acres covers the barangays of Mawakat and Nabuklod in Florida Blanca, Pampanga, plus a portion of San Marcelino, Zambales, and a portion of Barangay Batiawan in Subic, Zambales. On January 14, 2010, some 7,000 Aida families from Zambales were officially granted the Certificate of Ancestral Domain Title, KDT, covering the Zambales side of Pinatubo, which includes the summit and Lake Pinatubo, officially becoming their Lutan Tua, ancestral land. The ancestral domain title covers 15,984 hectares, 39,500 acres, and includes the villages of Burgos, Villar, Moraza, and Belbel in Bodolan, and portions of the towns of Cabangan, San Felipe, and San Marcelino. Having the land title will protect them from others, including foreigners, exploiting their land without compensation to and consent from the indigenous tribes. In the past, the Edas had to contend with mining companies, loggers, and recently, tourist companies who earn from Mount Pinatubo, but do not compensate the local tribes. Ancestral domain titles are awarded to a certain community or indigenous group who have occupied or possessed the land continuously in accordance with their customs and traditions since time immemorial. They have the legal right to collectively possess and to enjoy the land and its natural resources to the exclusion of others. In popular culture, Long before Mount Pinatubo became famous for its cataclysmic eruption, Philippine President Ramon Magsaysay, a native of Zambales, named his C-47 presidential plane Mount Pinatubo. The plane crashed into Mount Manungal in Cebu province in 1957, killing the president and 24 others on board. The shape of Mount Pinatubo's caldera inspired New Clark City Athletic Stadium in Capas, Tarlac. Hiking Activity The caldera formed and Lake Pinatubo has, since June 15, 1991, become a tourist attraction with the preferred route through Barangay Santa Juliana in Capas, Tarlac.